So by now, I'm sure that you know Caitlyn Jenner is running to be the governor of California, and she's a pretty standard Republican, right? But one area where I think that people logically expected her to be a little bit better than her Republican colleagues is at least on some social issues, LGBTQ rights in particular, right? Because even if she's generally pretty clueless, even if she doesn't have the best instincts, she's literally transgender. So you'd expect that at a minimum, she'd at least be somewhat better than her Republican colleagues when it comes to transgender rights. But that's not actually the case because she just endorsed a policy that harms trans youth. And as AP reports, Caitlyn Jenner, the former Olympic champion and reality TV personality now running for California governor, said she opposes transgender girls competing in girls sports at school. Jenner, a 1976 decathlon Olympic gold medalist who came out as a transgender woman in 2015, told a TMZ reporter on Saturday that it's a question of fairness. That's why I oppose biological boys who are trans competing in girls sports in school. It just isn't fair. And we have to protect girls sports in our schools. Jenner said Saturday during a brief interview in a Malibu parking lot. So let me just reiterate that. Caitlyn Jenner, a transgender woman, supports an explicitly discriminatory policy against transgender people. Yeah. And she actually took to Twitter to double down on this idiotic stance, saying, I didn't expect to get asked this on my Saturday morning coffee run, but I'm clear about where I stand. It's an issue of fairness and we need to protect girls' sports in our schools. This is basically a self-parody. She's a self-hating transgender woman. And for her, she grew up with a lot of wealth, a lot of privilege. She didn't transition when she was young, so she doesn't know what it's like to be a young transgender person in high school. She doesn't know that struggle. Sure, she struggled with her gender identity back when she was young, But she doesn't know the way in which these bills unnecessarily target trans students for no reason when this isn't actually an issue. And Parker Malloy on Twitter had a really great thread explaining just how stupid these types of policies are. California is one of just a few states that have laws explicitly allowing trans students to participate in K-12 through school sports. It went into effect in 2014. As you can see by the fact that girls' sports have not been obliterated, it's not actually an issue. And yet, this has been the law for years in California, and there haven't been any legitimate complaints. It's evidence that girls' sports aren't actually under threat, and that the rush to pass bills banning trans students from participating are unnecessary at best. So obviously, Republicans are trying to create a solution for a problem that doesn't actually exist. But it's actually a little bit more nefarious than that, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to create this wedge issue since they can't appeal to voters with economic policies, since they only support policies that benefit the rich. What they're trying to do is prey on trans people in order to score political points with unsuspecting people who don't know any better, who don't know a trans person, so they don't know how these bills are discriminatory and how this isn't actually an issue. It's truly morally reprehensible, but this is exactly what you'd expect from a party that is morally bankrupt. Now, the West Virginian governor, Jim Justice, actually just signed a bill into law that bans trans females in high school from participating in school sports. And when he was asked to provide a single example where a trans student gained some sort of unfair competitive advantage, as you're going to see, he couldn't cite one. Can you name one example of a transgender child trying to gain an unfair competitive advantage at a school there in West Virginia? Well, well, Stephanie, I, I don't have that experience exactly to myself right now, but I will tell Not you Not yourself, this. your state, I, sir. Can you give me one example of a transgender child trying to get an unfair advantage? Just one in your state. You signed a bill about it. No, I I can't really tell you one, but I can tell you this, Stephanie. I'm a coach, and I'm with, and I coach a girls' basketball team, and I can tell you that there, you know, we we all know, we all know what a an absolute advantage boys would have playing against girls. But sir, you have no examples of this happening. Why would you take your time to do this? Let's talk about other things that I can give you examples of in your state. According to U.S. News and World Report, West Virginia ranks 45th in education, 47th in healthcare, 48th on the economy, and 50th in infrastructure. 
If you cannot name one single example for me of a child doing this, why would you make this a priority? I just named four things that would seem to me like a much bigger priority. Well, Stephanie, I didn't make it a priority. It wasn't my bill. You signed it. I mean, it's just it's it's just come to me, and I have absolutely signed it because I believe, from the standpoint of a coach, I believe that girls work so hard to obtain Title IX, and I do not have any idea now why we are trying to disadvantage them in participating in the sport that they put so much into. I don't know why we're doing that. This is not like it's a big priority to me. In fact, well, I think we it, only sir. have 12. No, Stephanie, listen. I think we only have 12 kids maybe in our state that are, are, are transgender type kids. There's only like 12 kids who are trans in West Virginia, so I better make sure I go out of my way to target them even more with this unnecessary, blatantly discriminatory transphobic bill. Makes sense, right? This is exactly what Caitlyn Jenner supports a transgender woman. So this goes without saying, just because Caitlyn Jenner is transgender doesn't mean that she is a representative of the trans community or a representative for the average trans American. In the same way that Milo Yiannopoulos or Dave Rubin aren't representatives for gay men in America. And uh, speaking of Dave Rubin, he seems pretty fond of Caitlyn Jenner. Then Caitlyn Jenner, who right now is running for governor of California. And by the way, Caitlyn's people, we've reached out to you through every proper channel. I've tweeted a couple times. I'll give you about a two week window here to respond to us before I think that this thing's just like some sort of PR stunt. Like I'll give you a fair interview and I, I hope we can do it. And by the way, as it stands right now, I support you, Caitlyn Jenner, because A, anyone's better than Gavin Newsom, but you've said some things that make some sense. So if you want to have an honest conversation, completely unedited, I won't bring any notes. I'm not trying to get you. Just want to hear what you think. Uh, please do respond. Hey, Caitlin, you know, like me, I really admire your willingness to attack your own community at the behest of a political party, but I just can't support you if you don't respond within the next two weeks to come on my program. So that's the deadline, two weeks, and I'm just gonna have to assume that you're not a serious actor and that you're just a grifter. And trust me, I know something about grifting. I can spot a grifter since I'm a grifter myself. It's just embarrassing. Who bases their support on a politician on uh, whether or not they come on your podcast? That's delusional. Actually, I could think of one other person who does that. But I mean, at the end of the day, the point is that Caitlyn Jenner, even if she's transgender, she is not a good representative for the trans community. And if anything, her visibility is hurting transgender Americans. Because guess what? Republicans who are pushing these sorts of bills across the country now, they're going to use Caitlyn Jenner as a defense for their discriminatory policies. They'll point to her and say, look, even a transgender woman doesn't think that our policies are harmful or even discriminatory. I mean, all Caitlyn Jenner is doing here and what folks like Dave Rubin do is they just provide cover for the Republican Party. Give them permission to discriminate against marginalized communities. You can call, now we're equal, you call me whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like you, yeah. you could call me well, a that's what it right feels now, like it wouldn't me. mean anything to me. The, the, the it's just honestly disgusting. To use your identity to weaponize more hate, to use it as a shield for people trying to hurt your community, there's a unique evil to that. I mean, to be transphobic in and of itself is unacceptable, it's unjustifiable, but to be transgender and enable this, there's not just like a certain stupidity to this, but it's also uniquely nefarious because Caitlyn Jenner should in theory know better. She knows what it's like to live as a trans woman in America, albeit a privileged, rich trans woman, but still a trans woman. But she doesn't care because uh, politically, this is the position that her party has taken. So she's gonna, you know, uh, toe the party line. It's truly disgusting. And it's also really embarrassing and shameful. I don't know how Caitlyn Jenner sleeps at night, throwing her own community under a bus. But um, nonetheless, um, I hope that you can uh, live with yourself, knowing that you are further hurting this community. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain 